Well, you've been watching Surrender the Secret. Thanks for joining us tonight. We pray that this program has been a blessing to you or someone you know. We want to remind you that we are here for you here at TV 44 339 3000 is our prayer line. But we also want to give you the number for the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery, which is 1 866 482 LIFE. They are here for you as well. And they certainly want to pray with you and guide you through whatever it is that you may be going through in your life if you have had abortion in your history or in your past. Well, we've been talking with Sherry Neuenschwander of Concepts for Truth recently. If you've been with us for recent weeks, we're going to continue that conversation tonight. Tonight, we're going to talk about how the church or people who are a part of the church can be a part of the abortion recovery process. Sherry, why is the church such an important part of that? Well, thank you, Jennifer. Those of us who are hurting in the church often feel like uh, so overwhelmed with our shame. We may be sitting in our pew. We realize that God has forgiven, of our, given up, forgiven us of our sin, but we still feel that shame and, and that regret and hoping that no one will find out you know, that we've had an abortion. So our heart for the church here at Concepts of Truth is to help pastors um, create an atmosphere, a safe atmosphere for men and women to come forward because uh, we need to feel that, um, that love within the church. And oftentimes we feel rejected. It, you know, I remember when I was uh, struggling, wanting to come back to church, I would go into the church afraid that someone would get too close to me and find out that I had an abortion. So just overwhelmed with that shame, you know, wanting to run from God instead of running to God. So my heart is to help pastors understand that even though, yes, God has forgiven us of all our sin, His grace covers all sin, including abortion, but there is a grief that needs to be processed, a unique grief. And so my hope is to help pastors and, and church leaders know that the need is too great. The hurt is too great. Uh, one out of four women have experienced an abortion, um, one out of three within the church. And again, that does not include men. Of course, this is a man and a woman's issue. So um, we have a tendency to run from God. And so my heart, as well as Concepts of Truth, is wanting to help uh, pastors understand this and be able to reach out to those who are hurting within their congregation. You know, as I listen to what you're saying, it makes me think about the fact that if you have an unwed pregnancy in the church, mm -hmm. it's evident, people know about it, um, it's handled, and a lot of times that individual is, is wrapped around with the love, and so is that child. But like you said, with the, the abortion situation, first of all, that, that pastor or those lay people may never know it ever happened. So that person is, is sitting there in that silence to begin with. And then, even if it's years later, recognizing they could still face that condemnation. Um, what a, it just makes me hurt for these people, right. for these women and these men. Are there any specific things that you would suggest how a pastor could, could approach this situation in a loving way that would start to help the healing process happen? Absolutely. Actually, um, Concepts of Truth has a pastor's guide. And in that pastor's guide, we have several different services that they could do. Uh, one is awareness service, which is simply asking someone who's had an abortion that has experienced the pain of abortion but have gone through the grieving process and able to give their testimony. The power of mm. testimony is great. Mm. And so um, if they don't have someone in their church uh, that is uh, able to do that or willing to do that, they can call the helpline, 1-866-482-LIFE. Ask um, if we have someone in their area, because we have phone consultants all across the United States in different places who are willing to travel to come and share the, the, the testimony. So number one, I would say bring awareness by uh, talking about it, um, bringing someone to share their testimony. Another one might be, um, have a, a service about forgiveness, maybe preach about forgiveness. You know, God's grace covers all sin and uh, giving opportunity for those who are hurting um, to understand forgiveness and maybe even come forward. Even maybe they'll come anonymously uh, to, to the altar and that's okay. But that gives them an opportunity to, um, to come forward 
and go before the Lord and ask for forgiveness and maybe even have someone available to talk to them if they, if they do come forward and give voice to their pain. Um, also, it gives an opportunity for that forgiveness service uh, to, for God to heal the, he the hurting hearts of those who have had an abortion, but also for those in the church to forgive those of us who have had an abortion because God can heal both uh, sides of the shame. Um, those of us who've experienced the pain of abortion do have shame, and it is hard to come out for the fear of rejection. But the church as a whole wants to save lives, wants mm -hmm. to save the babies, mm -hmm. and, um, which is important. But um, we also want to uh, change the heart and restore those who are hurting, because those of us who have experienced the pain of abor abortion um, and get drink uh, yes, of water. please. Yeah, Can we edit it's that? Cold. Yeah, it's cold season, so uh, so it's okay. forgive me. That's fine. We can edit that. Okay. <laughs> um, for those of us talking about healing both sides of the shame, um, because um, those of us who have been hurt by abortion feel rejection, yeah. and that fear yeah. of rejection, because there are some people within the church that that really are hardline, you know, if you've experienced the pain of abortion, you know, it's something, they have, the, they have the idea that it's an unforgivable sin, unfortunately. But we want to change that. We want to educate people that, um, and, and give opportunity for healing for both sides. Also, um, another way a service that uh, a pastor might be able to do is an actual memorial service, which is a corporate memorial service for those who have lost their lives to abortion, for all the babies. Uh, you know, 56 million babies have lost their lives. So have a corporate memorial service. Mm. Give someone an opportunity to come anonymously and lay a rose on the altar on behalf of their child or something. That can begin the healing mm -hmm. process. But most of all, um, to have just the willingness to, to um, make it a, make the church a healing atmosphere, a safe place to come forward. It's, it's just really important. It's really unfortunate the number of times I've heard people say, I can't trust the church, I don't wanna go to the church, I've gone to the church and I've felt more hurt than when I went there, and of course that's not what Jesus wants. Right. Um, if there are pastors at home watching right now and they're recognizing, I need to make this more of a, um, an important thing in my church, but I'm not the qualified one to do it. Would you recommend they call Concepts of Truth? Can they get some of the brochures that you Absolutely. have? What, what, what could they do? We have the pastor's guide available. Um, they can call 1-866-482-LIFE and just say that, you know, they're inquiring about the pastor's guide for Concepts, for concepts of Truth. Um, they can call me uh, personally, um, and they can get that information maybe here at the station if they mm -hmm. want to call. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, I'll be glad to come and talk with them. If the pastors would just open up their door and allow me to come and just talk with them and share with them a little bit about what we do. Um, and we have opportunities for training. If their leaders want to learn how to reach out, we do have introductory type trainings um, that they can learn how to identify the signs of uh, post-abortion trauma. Mm. Um, and we do have trainings, not only for pastors, but for pregnancy centers. Pregnancy centers, again, they stand on the front lines fighting for life. Many offer abortion recovery programs, but many do not. So even if it's a pregnancy center director that's listening too, I'd encourage them to call um, and find out about our training in abortion recovery because we do also train. Um, but just to open up your door uh, to allow me to come in and speak um, or you know, give a testimony or just you know, ask and learn, that's what I encourage them to do. And next week we're gonna talk about the importance of testimony and why that is part of the important process of this abortion recovery. But before we go, we just have about a minute to go. Let's, can we just say a prayer right now, not only for the pastors, who are out there, but also for whoever might be watching, that God would just, just move their, their hearts. Yeah. Father God, you are uh, a God that is forever faithful. And Lord, you know our hearts. And I pray for the one that might be hurting, that's listening to my voice, that has experienced the pain of abortion. I pray that you'd wrap the, your loving arms around them and let them know, Lord, that you love them and you offer forgiveness. 
I pray for the pastor and the church leaders and those that uh, do not understand the, the grief that comes with abortion, but be willing to have a heart that will seek out and ask questions and to learn, to open up the doors. Lord, the need is great. The need is very great. And Lord, we know that you are the almighty healer, Lord. And so I ask that you would soften hearts and open up doors that others might come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ and know that abortion recovery is possible and available. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Sherry. More You're with welcome. Sherry next week after the Surrender the Secret segment. And we just want to remind you again that number's on the screen. The National Helpline for Abortion Recovery, one 866 life one 866 life Share that with someone who might need it. God loves you. Forgiveness is real. Have a good night.